Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now today, I am back in Emsworth and uh, we have come to find the final resting place of Sir Peter Blake KBE, who was a sailor, yachtsman, however you want to address it. I'm not very au fait with the uh, sea world, shall we say. Um, yeah, so when I was here before doing a live, I did come and find his grave, but the signal was so poor because I was doing it on my phone at the time. So I thought I would come back and tell his story and visit his final resting place, like we do with all of them. You know, lots of people did comment on the live saying, oh, it's a shame that you couldn't tell us more information, but it was literally, I was in here just walking around and I literally came across his final resting place. Now I've got some ramblers coming up behind me. Who knows what they're gonna be doing apart from rambling. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm full of cold at the moment. Don't forget, if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. We will go and find Sir Peter Blake's final resting place in a moment. But first of all, I will tell you a little bit about him, of course. Now, if you're a newcomer to the channel, welcome. Thank you very much. Lots more new international viewers these days, which is fantastic. I love it. Um, it's great to see from all around the world where you lovely people watch my videos from, and I'm really grateful, so thank you. And as always, thank you to my regular viewers that turn up week in, week out. And for those of you that don't know, if you're new to the channel, uh, most Sundays, I'd say 99.9% .9 Sundays, we have a premiere where you can get in the chat room. So you can come and say hello to me, you can come and say hello to the other viewers, um, and it's great. There's a great little sort of unusual things community stroke family there, and everyone's starting to get to know each other and things like that. So uh, please make sure you come along and get involved. And one of the premieres on a Sunday night, it's usually about 7 or 7.30 UK time. Right, let's get on with it. I'll tell you a little bit about Sir Peter Blake, and we're going to find his final resting place. Sir Peter James Blake, KBE, 1st of October 1948 to the 5th December 2001, was a New Zealand yachtsman who won the 1989-1990 Whitbread Round the World race, held the Jules Verne Trophy from 1994 to 1997 by setting the Around the World sailing record as co-skipper of ENZA New Zealand along with Sir Robin Knox Johnson, and led New Zealand to successive victories in the America's Cup. Blake was born in 1948 in Auckland, New Zealand, to artist and arts director Brian Blake and photography engraver Joyce Wilson. Peter was passionate about sailing from an early age. He began sailing at the age of five in the family dinghy. At 18, he and his brother built a keel yacht and won the 1967-68 New Zealand Junior Offshore Group Championship. In 1971, he began his international sailing career as watch leader on Ocean Spirit in the Cape Town to Rio de Janeiro race. Ocean Spirit won the race. The co-skippers of the yacht, Leslie Williams and Robin Knox Johnson, recognised Blake's abilities in leadership and seamanship 
and invited him to join their team for the first Whitbread Round the World race. Peter Blake raced in the 1973-74 to Whitbread Round the World race as watch captain on board the Burton Cutter Skippard by Leslie Williams and Alan Smith. In the 1977-78 race, Blake rejoined Williams and co-skipper Johnson on board Heath's Condor. While refitting the yacht in England after the race, Peter met Philippa, Pippa, Glanville and they married in Emsworth in August 1979. For the 1981-1982 race, Blake mounted his own campaign as skipper for Saramco, New Zealand, a 68-foot sloop designed by an up-and-coming naval architect called Bruce Farr. He returned for the 1985-1986 race as one of the race favourites, skipper of Lion, New Zealand, sponsored by the Lion Brewery, and came second. He won the 1989-1990 Whitbread race, where he skippered Steinlager too, an unprecedented clean sweep of Lion handicap and overall honours on each of the race's six legs. In 1994, Blake and his co-skipper Robin Knox Johnson succeeded in their second attempt at the Jules Verne Trophy by achieving the fastest non-stop navigation of the world under sail on the yacht Enza, New Zealand. Brought in at the last minute by Carl McKenzie to manage New Zealand's 1992 America's Cup Challenge, Blake led the Kiwi team to the Challenger Finals with NZL20. However, Italy emerged from the controversial series with the Louis Vuitton Cup and went on to face America in the America's Cup match. Blake was back for the 1995 America's Cup Challenge, this time as the syndicate head of Team New Zealand with NZL32, Black Magic. The team made a clean sweep, beating Dennis Connor 5-0. Blake's lucky red socks, a present from his wife, became something of a trademark. It was commonplace to see New Zealanders wear red socks or fly them from car aerials during the cup races and a highly successful fundraising edition of official red socks emblazoned with the sail numbers of the two NZL yachts were produced to help fund the syndicate subsequently. Following his murder, red socks became a badge of mourning to his many admirers. In the 2000 America's Cup, Team New Zealand, still led by Blake, became the first non-American team to successfully defend the America's Cup, beating Prada 5-0. Following this defence, Blake stood down from the team. He was inducted into the America's Cup Hall of Fame of 1996. In 1997, Blake became the Cousteau Society Head of Expeditions and skipper of the Antarctic Explorer, which he later purchased from the Society and renamed Seamaster. After leaving the society, he led expeditions to Antarctica and the Amazon board Seamaster during 2001. The same year, Blake was named Special Envoy for the UN Environment Programme. He began filming documentaries for Blake Expeditions, a company he founded. On the 5th of December 2001, pirates shot and killed Blake while he was on an environmental exploration trip in South America, monitoring global warming and pollution for the United Nations. The two-month expedition was anchored off Macapá, Brazil, in the mouth of the Amer Amazon Delta, waiting to clear customs after a trip up the Amazon River. At around 9pm, a group of six to eight armed masked robbers wearing balaclavas and crash helmets boarded the Seamaster. As one of the robbers held a gun to the head of crew member, Blake sprang from the cabin, wielding a rifle. He shot one of the assailants in the hand before the rifle malfunctioned. He was then fatally shot in the back by assailant Ricardo Calares, Taveres. The boarders injured two other crew members with knives and the remaining seven won hurt. The only thing seized by the attackers was a 15 HP outboard motor and some watches from the crew. Authorities eventually captured the pirates and sentenced them to an average of 32 years in prison each. Tavares, the man who fired the fatal shots, received a sentence of 36 years. Prior to the attack, the yacht's crew had been very careful when travelling up the river and back down again. They always had crew members on watch. Blake was survived by his wife Pippa, Lady Blake and their two children, Sarah Jane and James. Blake's sister, daughter, Anna Burnett is also a sailor and an Olympic silver medalist. Blake's environmental and leadership legacy continued by the Sir Peter Blake Trust, a non-profit organisation based in New Zealand. He is buried at Warblington Cemetery, located opposite St Thomas of Becket Church, near Emsworth, on the south coast of England. 
Emsworth is where Pippa and Peter settled and raised their two children. So there's all the information there on Sir Peter Blake KBE. I've been having a good look around and you know what? I think I found it. To be honest, I knew where it was anyway because I've done a live from here before and I've visited his final resting place. So let's go and check it out, shall we? For those of you that haven't seen it before. Now here is the back of his grave. I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. And the wheels kick and the wind song and the white sail shaking and the gray mist on the sea's face and the gray dawn breaking. And there's lots of coins on top. Now, is that a sailor's thing, a sea thing? If someone could enlighten me, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, let's get here. Uh, Sir Peter Blake, KBE, 1948 to 2001, yachtsman, adventurer of New Zealand and of Emsworth. And he's got a very, very unusual stone. I love it. I don't know what this is at the top. It looks like some little, little boots, like baby boots of some sort. I don't know. So there's the final resting place of Sir Peter Blake, KBE. Now. Obviously last time when we were here on the live, we couldn't really do it justice because the phone kept cutting out and etc. So I wanted to come back and pay my respects to Peter uh, because he was an amazing man. And uh, bless you, Peter. Thank you so much for your contribution to the world of adventure. And of course, being on the ocean, you know, exploring, great stuff. So there we have it, the final resting place of Sir Peter Blake KBE. Lovely little headstone. Well, it's a big headstone, but it's a nice sort of slim one. I don't know what the purpose was behind that, whether it has any relevance to what he did. Um, I've got to show you this before we leave. <laughs> Look at this. Boyo, the song has ended, but the melody lingers on. See you later, alligator, with a Guinness and what looks like a plough. Sleep peacefully, Dad. Wow, beautiful. I won't go around the front. We won't uh, show the person's name. But what a beautiful headstone. Anyway, it's a gorgeous autumnal morning. Autumn's my favorite time, I love it. Um, thank you as always for watching. Um, you know, if you're a fan of Sir Peter Blake, please leave your comments down below if it's someone that you've never heard of before and you found out some information today. Um, and yeah, please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up and uh, leave your comments down below. And I'll see you all on the next one. Take it easy.